can be your school newspaper or even your company publications. And you can get some uh, track reports and tweets. And you can use that to snack for more chances in the future. And if you're good at talking or presenting, please, please don't hesitate to get on a panel discussion at a conference or workshop. If you have a, a couple of good a couple of good presentations, then you can have a chance to get some kind of solo speech. And from that, you can jump up to a major address uh, at your industry annual, annual convention. But, however, the most important thing to bring out your visibility is the word of mouth marketing. Your network of coworkers, friends, family, clients, customers, uh, is the most in, uh, is the more important marketing vehicle that you've got. Like what they're gonna say about you and about your contribution is what the market ultimate, ultimately uh, measures the value of your brand. So if you want to bring out the visibility of your brand, please um, be aware of your networking consciously. The second step to uh, for your personal branding campaign is it all matters. So what does it mean? If you're promoting a brand new, yourself, everything you do or choose not to do can communicate the value and the character of the brand. Like what? Um, like from everything that you do every single day, like the way you hold your phone conversations, or even the way you send an email messages, or the way you conduct a business meeting, or even the way you design your business card, is it in a good shape, the way you put information on it, or is your logo on the business card is good looking and stand out from the crowd. Or the simplest way you can think of is the way you come to class. If you come to class late, or you come to the business, the business meeting late. It also uh, communicates the value and the character of the brand. So what you wanna do is to be aware, be careful of every single thing that you do every day so that you can create the greatest value and the character of your personal brand. So I'll pass it for Alina to talk about the next article. Okay, so um, for the second article, it talked about the four social styles. And basically, this article just talks about um, our personalities and how they break it down into four simple categories. So the categories are the driver, expressive, amiable, and analytical personalities. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about them. Okay, so for the analytical personality, they're sort of the thinkers, you can think of them, they're quiet, logical, reserved. Um, they seem distant and tend to be cautious. Now, um, they have really strong time discipline, but they do act slowly because they want to make sure everything works efficiently and uh, benefits them. Uh, when making decisions, they make decisions based on facts. And uh, they need security when they make decisions. So driver personalities are the action-oriented people. They're the go-getters or the people like, we're going to get this done, we're going to do all these things. Uh, they're usually very determined and forceful. Um, when it comes to time, they have a little tolerance for wasting time. Uh, they just like to get things done, be productive, and they prefer to stay on target than be off task doing something else. So when making decisions, uh, they usually are seem power-hungry sometimes but it's not like that. They, just li they like to make their own decisions and they do not like being told what to do. So, amiable people are the relationship-oriented people. So they're kind of easygoing, they're casual and formal. They, you know, they prefer to collaborate with each other and other people rather than you know, uh, competing or arguing or disagreeing on things. They tend to move slowly and avoid conflict. They're usually the people that just oh, stay out of things when, people get, when things get heated. Um, they value the input of others, and they're easily influenced by other people, and they're not risk takers. The exp expressive um, personality types are spontaneous, fun, and sociable. They're really open about their thoughts and feelings. Um, when it comes to time, they move quickly, but they're really less disciplined about time, so they're the people that do all these things but waste a whole bunch of time while doing it. Um, they like to change course rapidly, so they're like on one thing, and then they change to another. Uh, they, well, they tend to take risks. They always, uh, when making decisions, they always like put opinions over facts. Um, it's just sort of how they roll. And um, when responding to uh, making decisions, they usually respond to incentives and benefits. 
So to summarize um, our two articles, we're going to summarize everything. I know there was a lot of information for everybody. So basically, um, we talked about how branding is everything and everywhere. It's really important, right? We talked about how the key to personal branding is word of mouth marketing and how important that is to be able to market yourself and build a strong network. Anything you do and communicate can communicate the value and character of your brand. So we talked about coming to class late. Like that shows what type of value and character you're displaying to people. So we talked about ways to stand out, kind of making yourself stand out. Uh, we talked about thinking of yourself differently, being unique, and comparing yourself to other candidates. You might want to try to think of yourself differently, think of what you have other people don't have. And this is something that the article uh, kind of ties into the second one. So we're talking about like the four social styles and how they're analytical driver, amiable, and expressive. If you know what social style you are, you can definitely figure out what your strong, um, suit, what your strong things, your strong personality traits are, and then that you have an advantage over other people. So that ends our presentation. Uh, now we're going to start the quiz. Will one of you please read the quiz answer? Uh, not answers, questions. I'm sorry, questions out loud. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's give them a